This is Hayes Q Jones. Your DVD and Blu-ray baller on a budget. And this is HQ Videos for you. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe. If you're a current subscriber, you know the routine. You guys are family. Come on in, make yourself at home. This week takes me to Dollar General and this really pit of a, a pawn shop. Tampa Pawn and Gun place is just a, a, a it was a mess. It was a stuff stacked, stacked on stuff, stacked on stuff, but found some movies there. But before I get into what I picked up at Dollar General and at the pawn shop, not only do I collect movies, yes, I'm one of these weird individuals. I actually, I actually watch them. And on a weekly basis, I like to share some of the things I've watched either live in the theaters, streaming, or physical media. This week, or this weekend, my family and I actually went upstate New York for a memorial for my mother-in-law who passed last year. And right now we're going to Whiteface Mountain. This is a trip to the elevator. So a lot of stuff I watched, either I downloaded from Netflix or from my <clears throat> personal collection. We kick it off with something from my personal collection that I actually watched on Tubi TV. Tubi or Tubi, T-U-B-I. It's a free download, tons of great movies. This is Bigfoot, The Lost Coast Tapes. This is a 2012 science fiction adventure, lost tapes, action type film. This was directed by Corey Grant, starring Drew Rausch, Rich McDonald, Ashley Wood, Noah Weinberg, Frank Ashmore. If you like lost footage or that kind of reality type, live action type of film. You'll like this. Very clever. Like the little tongue-in-cheek comedy you have in there, especially with the uh, uh, two black people who are, they tried to get on the trip who refused to go. Thought that was funny at the beginning, though, but like the ending. Very fun. Fast-paced movie. Get the opportunity. It's free on Tub Tubi or Tubby. Bigfoot, The Lost Coast Tapes. My next pick, is actually a Dollar Tree pick. This is something that I downloaded. This is Search Party. This is a 2014 adventure comedy. This was directed by Scott Armstrong, starring Adam Pally, TJ Miller, Thomas Middleditch, Shannon Marie Woodward, Allison Brie. Cute film. Basically, this is a guy about to get married having second thoughts his homeboys try to assist him in his in his in his marital issues which end up taking him to Mexico getting stranded very funny film actually has some laugh out loud scenes didn't recognize most of the, the actors by name but some of them actually look familiar just by face so Actually, pretty decent film. Dollar Tree, you see it. Get the Blu-ray, definitely pick it up. Search Party. My next pick is something I actually downloaded on Netflix. Watched it on the, um, on the plane. Monster Trucks. This is a 2017 American monster comedy film. This was directed by Chris Wedge. Starring Lucas Till, Jane Levy, Barry Pepper, who had actually a hot career like in the 90s early 2000s he made this horrible movie with john travolta uh the scientology movie can't think of it i think that killed his career uh, you also have thomas lennon in here rob lowe you know he likes him young danny glover amy ryan holt mccall uh, and frank wally this is not what i expected i thought it was gonna be more like the stephen king movie with Milo estevez where the cars came to life little different don't want to spoil it for you though but it's pretty much like the title sounds monster trucks very fun kind of a family oriented film you like that I actually give you a kind of a, a flavor it's a Nickelodeon um, it was produced by Paramount Animation and Nickelodeon so it's that type of feel though but very fun watch enjoy watching on the plane monster trucks my last pick 
is a Netflix documentary. Netflix has some amazing documentaries, especially the ones they have on sports. This is Muscles and Mayhem, the unauthorized story of American Gladiators. This debuted June 28, 2023 on Netflix, directed by Jared Hess and Tony Vanuku. I'm probably murdering that guy's name. Some of the cast were the actual stars of American Gladiators or the actual original American Gladiators. Danny Lee Nitro Clark, Debbie Storm Clark, Eric Diamond Anders, Jim Laser Califat, star. Jim is actually a female. Lori Ice Fedrick, Fedrick, excuse me. Michael Gemini Horton, Ray Zap Hollett, Shari Blaze Pendleton Mitchell, Sky Eason Corrido, Steve Tower Henneberry, and Lisa, Lisa McCullough, the original Zap. And it goes over the the history, the beginnings of American Gladiator, how it began, kind of out of that blood sport, Mortal Kombat, 80s type of larger than life circus atmosphere, and how it almost didn't make it, and how it, it hit its height of popularity and also the decline and the after the after effect of the initial stars and what happened to them beyond the American Gladiators. Great documentaries. Netflix has some of the, the best documentaries, both in general and especially on sports. So if you like this kind of docu sports documentaries, definitely check it out on Netflix. Now without further ado, sit back, relax, have a drink, have a smoke. And I'll catch you on the other end of this video. And enjoy this uh this beautiful view.
We are back at the Black Cave. Back at the Black Cave. We are back at the motherfucking Black Cave. Have my Dollar General pickups. Have my pawn shop pickups underneath here. Have a couple things I picked up from eBay, Amazon, as well as my usual classic pick for the week and my 3D pick. So let me get these scanned in and we'll jump right into it. Give me just a minute. We're going to pick it up, kick it off with what I picked up at Tampa, Pawn and Gun. This place was a real shithole, as you can see in the video that precedes this. Just crap on top of crap. I actually had to climb over stuff just to get some of these movies. Normally, I wouldn't have bothered the place like that, but I made the big mistake. I saw one movie that I've been looking for then that forced me to kind of go down this rabbit hole and dig through boxes. And this is what I came up with. And the guy was an asshole too. It wouldn't break on the prices. So all these were a dollar a piece. And nasty thing before he's giving me change for the money he wipes his nose then gives me the money I had to like douse myself in hand sanitizer though but anywho then kick it off with life without dick full stop no comment you make your own comment insert your own comment has um Sarah Jessica Parker who I've probably been watching since I was a kid when she was in this show I think it was her it was her or this other one um I think she might have been square pegs maybe I don't know, but Sarah Jessica Parker, Harry Connick Jr., who's actually a decent actor, and a young John, young Johnny Knoxville. It's a romantic comedy. This is a TriStar release. Life Without Dick. Next is a classic Full screen, double header. You don't see full screen videos anymore. Danny Glover, a young Danny Glover, and a younger James Earl Jones, Deadly Drifter, and Blood to- Blood Tide. This is old, old, old platinum, platinum releases. And it's the old, which I hate these things. Double sided disc with no artwork. I really hate those because they're really hard to to find when I'm looking through my book. You have to put my reader glasses on so I can actually read the title. Double feature, Deadly Drifter and Blood Tide. Actually, I just watched Blood Tide. Yeah, I just watched this uh, a little while ago. Strange, low-budget movie. Next, Double Cross. He looks familiar. This is a thriller movie. And who released this? Say. Something? I can't read it. Something. I can't read that logo, whatever it is. Let's say low budget distribution, double cross. This one looks interesting. Hillary Swank. Bill Cusack. I don't I wonder if that's any relation to John and Joan Cusack. Probably not. Chad Lowe. I think that's uh, Rob Lowe's little brother. Hopefully he's he deals with women of suitable age. But I thought this was an interesting pick, mainly because of Hillary Swank, a young Hillary Swank. It's an image release. Quiet days in Hollywood. And the disc guide. And image release. Image releases. Do I have any of these? Yeah, I have this one. Ah, I have this one, this one. Oh, the IMAX ones. I have this. Don't have the rest of these. I have these two. Okay. Interesting. Next, we have Gordon Sumner, a.k.a. Sting from The Police, Jennifer Beals from Flashdance, The Bride, which is... A variation of the Frankenstein story. I've never seen this. 
I want to get to some Blu-ray. I'm not sure if it's on Blu-ray or not. But I really like Gordon Sumner's thing. He's an interesting artist. Interesting person. Love the name Sting. I loved him in, the, in Dune also. And this is a TriStar Columbia release, The Bride. Next, this is a, a red box release. I know because I have the bootleg copy. I don't know how those bootleg copies just jumped into my collection, but I have probably several hundred of them. So one by one, I'm trying to replace. Um, this is the one strange movies that I'm not even going to try to explain why. I got it, or why I'll watch it, or why I might even like it, is just one of those things I can't explain. It looks like, uh, yeah, Don Johnson from Miami Vice, Christina Ritchie, Stephen Dorff from the, I believe, the first Blade movie, it's a Sony release. Nick Swartzen's Bucky Larson, Born to be a Star. And this was looking for this unrest one of those eight one of the eight films to die for an after dark horror horror films horror fest excuse me decent movie decent movie not bad and I think I have most of these the Hamiltons which they had a sequel the Thompsons pretty good I don't have reincarnation I have unrest the grave dancers Wicked little things I have. Dark Ride. I don't have Penny Dreadful. So still some more that I have to get. Unrest. And this is what I got at the Shithole Pawn Shop. Tampa. Pawn and Gun. These were seven bucks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. So a dollar a piece. Next we'll go to what I picked up. At Dollar General. Kick it up with Firewall. I had this on DVD for years. Looking for the Blu-ray. Happy to get it five bucks. Not a bad price considering what they're asking for on eBay and Amazon. This is a thriller. Haven't seen this in a while. This things when the, the internet really started getting really popular. 2006, so yeah. And uh, security. I think security was a big issue back then. Spyware, um, antiviruses, that was a big thing back then. So, Firewall, Warner Brothers release, Harrison Ford. Looking forward to seeing the new um, Indiana Jones also. Firewall. Next, 4K at Dollar General. Have my man Christian Bale, the person just loved to hate. Um, I'm assuming this is Roseman Pike. I've seen this guy before. Get yourself a plastic here. And I'm assuming this is Wes Study. The Hostels. I'm assuming this has to do with the Native American indigenous and the Europeans. I'm assuming this is about the 1892. The Cheyenne. I guess it's the Cheyenne Nation now, so it looks interesting. Uh, plus it's 4K, four bucks. Got the Blu-ray DVD plus the bonus, so I can't really scoff about that my dollar general pickup next let's go with a couple of things I picked up either eBay or Amazon I think this is eBay I've had the DVD for years I've yet to watch this Adam Sandler Kevin James I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry I think the premise behind this is for insurance reasons they marry each other for insurance I'm again I haven't watched this and I think out of the storyline Adam Sandler is just one of those actors, either you like him or you don't. On Saturday Night Live, I thought he was just not funny. He made Happy Gilmore. Some of the funniest scenes I've ever seen are in Happy Gilmore. Uh, Happy Gilmore, when he goes back to school, um, 
I think that's the one. The one line I love, though, is just after he gives that speech and the um, mediator is like, that is the stupidest thing I ever heard. We are now dumber for now listening to that. That is the most hilarious line to me. But this is a... Who released this? Universal. Universal release. I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry. Next, I actually watched this on Netflix. Excellent movie. Um, humorous, witty, suspenseful, nice twist at the end. The the other one, Onions, what, what that Onions, uh, Knives Out Onion, whatever. Not bad also, but I actually prefer this one out of the two. I have the Blu-ray and the DVD, beautiful artwork. I have the disc, excuse me, the uh, extra digital code. And who's in here? Don Johnson again. Uh, you got Captain America, Jamie Lee Curtis, Christopher Plummer. Uh, you got a boy from Atlanta, um, Lakeith Stanfield. Keep a lookout for him. Really like him. Uh, oh boy, love him as Zod and the Man of Steel. Of course, you have a boy from Miami Vice. Love her in Hereditary. Um, who's this guy? I know his name. Do, do, do. Michael Shannon. Love Michael Shannon as an actor. Uh, I loved her in Hereditary. This is a... Is it TriStar? Lionsgate. Lionsgate release. Knives out. Next. This is a classic Kino Lorber. When everything is on the line, there can be no retreat, no surrender. This looks so, Jean-Claude looks so corny in this movie. It's, it's hilarious. This is about like one of his first movies. And this is just kind of indicated that look. It's just like, he is just the super villain of, of, of the 80s. This is 86, so this is right in the midst of 80s kind of opulence and overboard stuff. So very, very interesting movie, very entertaining movie. No Retreat, No Surrender. Kino Lorber release. Getting to my 3D pick for the week. Picked this up on eBay from the director of Shark's Tale, A Monster in Paris. We have 3D, Blu ray, and DVD in the digital disc. This is a Shout Factory release. You know, Shout Factory has the artwork. They just gave me the Blu ray 3D and the DVD. So no extra code on this. This was actually used off of eBay. A monster in Paris. And to kick it off, the man, the myth, the legend, the great Miles Davis with Quincy Jones. Uh, I know Quincy Jones is in the hospital, so I pray that he is okay and he makes a snap recovery, even though I know he's 90. But this is the essence of jazz. Miles Davis, Quincy Jones, Gil Evans Orchestra. This is live in um, Montreal. Montreal? Montreal? Montreal. Montreal, 1991. I've, I've listened to this, I don't know how many times, but watching it and listening to it, it gives another dimension to it, just how brilliant Miles Davis is, as well as Quincy Jones. So this is my Dollar General Pawn Chop pick. For the week, give me a moment to separate the artwork from the plastic and the disc, and I'll get you good people on your way. Hold on. I have everything scanned into my C L. Z movies app. C as in Charlie's Angels. L as in Life Without Dick. Z as in Zulu Dawn. Let's knock this out.
have everything laid out, ready to be put back in its proper place. As usual, I appreciate each and every one of you hanging in there, leaving comments. If you made this far in the video, smash a like, ring the bell, give me the big thumbs up. Other, th other than that, may the best of your past be the worst of your future. Everyone be safe. Deuces.